Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a sleep physician, and if you haven't saw me, this channel is for you. In this episode, we're going to talk about how a bedtime routine cannot be engineered to produce good sleep, but rather a good bedtime routine is a consequence of sleeping well. And most importantly, we're going to talk about how you can get to that place of sleeping well. Hey there, extremely excited having you back here because I've been thinking about this episode for quite a while. Uh, a, was it last week or maybe the week before that? I made this episode about how you should just forget about sleep hygiene, how the potential minimal benefit you can you can get from you know keeping the room cool and quiet and staying off electronics and things like that is far outweighed by all the anxiety and frustration and confusing and you know all all the negative impact of trying to like create a good bedroom environment and trying like in and then subconsciously hoping that that will make you sleep better so i say forget about that and also you know same the same day i thought about that i thought about the following that a good bedtime routine is a consequence of sleeping well meaning somebody that is sleeping well on a night to night basis typically does something before they go to bed and that something because they're sleeping well becomes something that leads up to good sleep so again if you're sleeping well then whatever you do before you go to bed becomes your you know that that good bedtime routine but what you cannot do and what you always kind of hear that you should be doing is create a bedtime routine that then leads to good sleep because if you start trying to like engineer that, you start thinking like, okay, it's two hours before I go to bed. Now I got to start you know, turning the light down. I started to turn the thermostat down. I got to stop creating, a, you know, uh, watching TV. I'm gonna stop doing this and that. That just creates frustration and like builds up pressure and anxiety. And it is boring, you know? How fun is it to look forward to two hours of like, staying in a dark cool room and doing nothing that engages you right so bedtime becomes something that you dread even more because now you can't do anything that's fun so so i s totally see this problem now how like people try to create a bedtime routine that's gonna uh, you know make them sleep totally backfires and it's the opposite it's the opposite it's when you f when you sleep well that whatever you do before you go to bed becomes a good bedtime routine now, so how can you uh, how can you reach that that place of sleeping well and having you know and and um, having a quote unquote bed, good bedtime routine? Well, really everything I talk about here is aimed at you know helping uh, somebody sleep better. So so all of it really plays plays a role. But more specifically here, I want to say actually the same thing I said that episode, which is that hour or half hour or hour and a half, you know, before you go to bed, you have to do something that you look forward to, that you you know is, is gonna be enjoyable, you know, because going to bed is not something, you know, you shouldn't, you, you, you shouldn't dread that time, you should look forward to that time. So that could be really anything that you enjoy. But what most people do, I believe, is actually watch TV, or watch this show on Amazon Prime, or watch a Netflix show, or, you know, um, you know, talk to somebody or read a book or listen to an audiobook or listen to anything like that that is enjoyable is good. You have to look forward to bedtime. So um, hope this was helpful and much more to come this week and onwards. By the way, I totally missed out on the um, the one year anniversary, which was like a uh, last month of, of the uh, this channel. But it's been amazing, uh, a year done and really just getting started here. Much, much, much more to come. So that said, hope to have you back here tomorrow. And if you have any questions, please comment or email me, daniel at insomniainsight.co. Bye for now.